construction of a scooter. So the very first thing I'm going to do is to draw my horizontal line. All right. So after drawing my horizontal line, I'm going to draw a vertical line. This vertical line here. So after drawing this vertical line here, so the next procedure is to locate uh, my make this area my point F1. F1. All right. So after making this area my point F1. So from F1, I'm having a distance of uh, 23. 23. And after 23, I'm having a distance of 55. Mark of 55. After mark of 55, I'm having uh, from point B to K to be what? To be 30. 30. Then from point K to uh it's going to be what 40 then after the 40 i'm having a mark of what of eight a mark of eight which is this okay this mark of eight here yeah. so if that has been done the next procedure is to project all these points out vertically all right i'm going to project them out vertically which is this I'm going to project them out on the vertical plane Okay, so after doing that, the next procedure is this. Okay, so this point here is my F2. Is my F2, all right? And this area here is my is my point D. Is my point D. That's my point D. All right. So based on the normal principle of uh, drawing an ellipse using focal point method, using focal point method. So from this point F. You understand i'm going to extend my compass such that it touch this this straight line here so whatever is cut it here this will be my point towards my point c so if that is my point c then i'm going to come down here because focal point method to get our major axis says what cf1 plus cf2 and that is what i'm going to can you see cf1 cf2 so that is my major axis. So having that, I'm going to come to my point D to get my to get my major axis now. So and I've drawn the circle for my major axis. Take note, having a very good look at this scooter. Yeah, the ellipse drawn at this bottom uh, left hand corner is actually one quarter of the whole ellipse. So I'm developing a one quarter of the whole ellipse here. All right. So just follow me as I proceed. All right. So then I need to get my minor axis. I need to get my minor axis. So my minor axis is going to be uh, C to D. Yeah, C to D, all right? So from point C to point D, that's my minor axis. So then I'm going to produce the circle for that also. Okay, after producing that, the next thing is to uh, get the point all right get the point which i'm trying to do okay so i'm i am using the elliptical or uh auxiliary circuit method yeah i am using the auxiliary circuit method to develop uh the quarter ellipse we have in here i'm using the auxiliary circuit method all right Okay, having the first point there, second point here, so first point here, second point here, then all the way down here, then from here. So with that being done, I'm going to pick up my okay. That's the ellipse there. Okay, after that, I'll this radius 15 with my compass. So having picked the radius routine from point D, I'm going to mark it this way, then place it there, and I'm going to 
we check the circle so that's it for radius we've seen ends here so ending it here i'm going to join this one tangentially tangentially or thin downward a mark of 15 downward and this is my mark 15 so get my mark 15 i'm going to project my horizontal line at the bottom of it this way so that's been done having done that so the wheel i'm having radius 20 and radius 15 so let me go with the radius 20 first of all so this is my radius 20 now i have my radius 20 placing it here striking it right here okay so having my point there placing it there then what projecting the wheel all right projecting the wheel okay so for the radius 15 the inner this thing for the wheel, radius 15 that's radius 15 and i'm also going to what project that also so having done that i'm going to what join this to uh the level of point d okay so that's been uh done and okay so uh at this end is my mark 38 having my mark 38 here i'm going to project it okay then my mark 15 from my 38 also my mark 15 this is my mark 15 also so i'm going to project these two marks horizontally yeah i'm going to project them horizontally all right in this manner thin line thin line all right then this manner so i haven't done that so having a good look at it so this mark that it strikes my uh point here so i'm going to just pull this over from here you understand just any convenient uh point there any convenient point so i can decide to go this way all right this way since the point there is not specified again this area i'm going to join this area this way then i'm going to what uh bring them together here so um i already have the seat so i read i have the first part of my what of my scooter so to get the other part here now to get the other part here now so take note from point k the height at point k is what 40 30 and 10 which is what which is 80 and on that axis we are having what we are having a parabola 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 all right okay so k to h is what is 80 so i need to get that right k to a is 80 so i need to get that right so i need to get my point h which is what 80 all right and this is 80 here okay so then i need to pick my point 80 mark all right this is my point 80 mark don't forget i'm having point 10 here so i need to mark out the point one and four. okay so i'm having point 40 here all right having this horizontally Okay, so the width here from point H, you understand, is what is 20. Is 20, which is this. All right. So I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up 20. So I'm going to develop a parabola here. So I'm going to decide to develop a parabola, the gap into what? Into three powers. All right. So this is going to be point zero. All right. That will be point zero. I'm going to use division of line method. Yeah, let me use division of line method here. So let me just divide this area into three equal apps. Three equal apps. I'm using division of line method here instead of going through the series of calculation. One, two, three. Okay, so I haven't done that. I'm going to apply this here. Okay, mark one mark 2 and mark 3 so i need to transfer it to the other side there all i'm going to do is just pick one of the points there one of the mark here which is this and i'm going to transfer it here so also i'm having my mark 1 mark 2 and mark 3 so i'm going to divide these vertical axes into what's into three four apps also so i'm applying division of line method also
opposite corner downward right yeah i'm having my mark one here mark two and the mark three the same thing mark three mark two and mark uh, before that, i need to project the horizontal plane also on mark one that's it on mark two that's it on mark one at the bottom here that's it on mark two that is it okay i haven't done that then i'm going to bring out my parabolic shape all right so the first one to develop my parabola now all right so then to mark two this is the point here then from here to mark this is where it intersects then to mark uh theory so i haven't done that the next thing is of just bring out my okay this area already covered then the okay so that's it then okay so having developed the parabola so if you take a look at the question all right so you see a point r towards the right hand side of point h then find at an angle of what 60 degree but before that i need to divide this plane into three core halves here yeah. this length 20 here into half and that's it here so this into two so with this into two this is it here so i haven't done that you take note that from point o yeah from my point o here i'm going to extend my compass to the top of point h here to get the curve here okay so placing my compass on point o extending it to point h extending to point h i'm going to you draw after drawing so you already divided h to this area into two and this is the half part all right so having that half part i'm going to draw a line from that area using angle 60 using angle 60 degree which is this and from the half of that part at 60 degree so having dragged this to the base, so I'm having it there. So then this is going to end here. Then I'm going to project this here. Okay, then this area down here. I haven't done that. So the next procedure, the next procedure is to uh, get my wheel here. Just get it 20. Picking radius 20, all right. Coming down to uh, this area. So that's our center point. All right, that's our center point. Having our center point that way, I'm picking radius 25 now. Radius 25. Coming here with our radius 25. And yeah, I'm gonna end here. So from here, I'm going to project it up. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, from the bottom here, mark thirty, and this is my mark thirty here. That's my mark thirty here, and I'm going to project the line horizontally. On mark 30, we have line horizontally on mark 30, so that's our end point. So, which means my area 25 and C, yeah, it's and C. Okay, so ending the end, I'm going to pick this up. Then breaking it this manner, then joining the bottom all together down to point D. Yeah, bring it together to point D. And I haven't done that. All I need to do now is just include the width. I'm going to draw the width now. So the first wheel is radius. Okay. Radius 20, then the second one is radius 15. Radius 15 now.
previous 15 all right so this is our scooter now this is our scooter so let me just do the dimension let me do the dimension Okay, that's all for now. Thank you. Please ensure you like this video and subscribe and you can also share with your friends and loved ones. Thank you.